Now that you've practiced some boxes going back to the vanishing point and using one point perspective, we're going to try something a little more challenging. So next step, see if you can't draw this basic shape over in this space that you have over here or on another piece of paper. Let's see if we can't draw something that is has a bit more of a challenge to it. There we go. So see if you can't replicate that basic shape. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to. Now we're going to take a look at where are the points on this shape. Now remember, this is a shape. It's not three-dimensional yet. It's not 3D. It's still a 2D shape. So where are the points or the corners on this shape where we would see a guideline going back to the vanishing point? So I'm going to point to a corner and you're going to tell me whether it's yes or no. 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 That would be a yes because I'm going to see it go through. If I don't, if, it, if your line, your guideline looks like it's going through the item or your shape, then you're not drawing it. So that is a no, that's a no, that's a no. This would be a yes. Notice I'm putting little dots so I know where I'm, what I'm doing or I remember where I need to draw my lines. That would be a no. This one a yes. This one a yes. This is 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 a no. This is a no. This is a no. This it's open, so that would be a yes. And we're back to where we started where we're no, no, no. Once you've figured out all your points in which you're going to see guidelines going back to the vanishing point, you then again need to line up your ruler, making sure that your corner points and your vanishing point are lined up on the ruler, holding your ruler down so that your ruler does not shift. Now, because I have this box here, I'm only going to go back that far. And I know that I'm going to end this shape before this point, so I don't technically have to draw all the way back, but I do need to make sure that my lines are going, if I were to continue them, they would go back to the vanishing point. So I'm going to do these other points right here. So take a few minutes and try and get all of your guidelines in for all the points on your shape. Now you're going to notice right here where it kind of comes in and it looks like it's going to hit the shape. I've stopped. I did not continue my line going through. That's because I this, this part of the shape disappears behind this solid piece. Same thing with this one right here. And this one. So it's just going to stop right where it hits the shape. Now that I have this done, my guidelines are in, I need to decide where I'm going to end my shape. So now if I put a little dot and I decide I'm going to make my shape this thick, so I'm going to make this a solid line. Okay, so I know that my shape is going to be this long. The one thing you have to remember is that you're dealing with two points. You're always dealing with a line between the two guidelines. So a line between the two guidelines, a line between the two guidelines, a line between the two guidelines. And a lot of students want to t put a line going in this direction, which is not correct. Okay, You don't want to do that. Think of it this way. If I take these two lines, and maybe I'll use a, a pen, Okay, if I take these two guidelines and I were to follow these two guidelines up to the corners, this is the line that the, the, the line I draw here needs to match. Okay, so if you're not sure 
what line, what type of line to draw in between a guideline. All you do is take your fingers or look at the two lines and draw the two lines. And again, I'll use, I'm gonna use pencils, maybe that'll be better. So if I need to draw a line from here to here and I don't know how to draw the line, I don't know what the line to match it with or to make parallel to, so I'm just gonna come up and I'm gonna go, okay, well, these are my two points. This is the line in between my two points. Therefore, the line I draw here and here needs to go in the same direction as this one right there. So if I look at my two points, here's the front part of my shape. So I have to make the back part go in the same direction. And again, notice that my line is parallel. This line is parallel to this line. Now I can make this solid. Now I wanna work off of this corner because this is the corner that goes with this corner. I don't have a line suddenly starting here. So notice that this comes down, comes over, down, over, down. Well, I need to have it do the same thing. I need to have it come down, over, down, over. So the line I draw from here to here, again, if I follow these two lines up, has to be parallel to this line. So I'm going to take my ruler. I can take my ruler like this. This is just one way I showed you before. I can drag it back till I get to that point, And I'm gonna draw from one side to the other, making sure I stop where I think that, where that guideline's gonna be. I'm gonna make this a solid, okay? So are you starting to see kind of the steps kind of coming in? And again, this is going, look at parallel line, parallel, so these two match. These two match. Now this one has to match again, so I'm gonna line this up. Goes going in this direction, so I'm gonna come back, make it go in the same direction. I can make that solid. Then this is going across, and this is going across. Now sometimes it gets a little more complex. Now here's something that I see happening all the time. So I see something like this where people are wanting to end their piece way back here, but you need to keep it with that corner. So I'm gonna match this up. And even though this gets really skinny, that's what you need to do. Now the length of this is quite long, so I'm going to keep that here, okay? And I'm gonna keep this here. I wouldn't wanna stop it here, right there, because you see how this looks really skinny, but this looks kind of wider. So you wanna try and keep the same thickness all the way through. So I don't wanna put a line there, I'm just gonna leave it just like that. Now, if I look at this, this to me looks much longer than this right here. So I need to match that. So if it's about that length, I'm gonna try and match that length. So maybe it only goes back that far. And then this is going to come up so that you're seeing the thickness. You would then go back and erase the guidelines that you no longer needed, okay? So go ahead and try that shape. It's tricky. Watch your parallel lines and make sure that you're following where the putting your lines in between the guidelines and showing parallel lines. The front side, whatever's happening on the front side, has to be happening on the back side and vice versa. Whatever lines are happening on the back side need to match the lines that are in the front. Good luck. Have fun. Use a ruler and take your time.